Hello everybody, this is Dave Shopius, uh, giving you a little bit of a tour, and that's B9 right there, he's taking a bow, giving you a little bit of a tour of what I have um, done so far. Stand up, Nenny. Okay. <laughs> so far on my arm build, uh, the personality generator is on right now, so he's moving around a little bit until I turn it off. I, just I wanna... was very famous at one time. Everyone knew me and adored me, the robot from Lost in Space. Now I am retired, and I, well, I, I just stand here most of the time and look really cool. Yeah, you do, but you don't have a head right Good now. Evening. Be quiet, Nenny. Okay, now he won't, he won't talk. Uh, he's being operated by the Easy B robotic system. It's got voice recognition, but we're not going to go into that right now. I just shut off the voice recognition with the voice recognition command, so he won't be listening anymore um, and interrupting us. And, but he will be moving around a little bit until I shut that off. Um, I'm going to give you a little bit of a beauty shot of right now, uh, what he looks like. Um, I've shown this before, but let's just get this out of the way. I hope you guys have enough light in here to see. Um, He's pretty much finished, finished except for the arms, and that's what I'm working on right now. Um, I'd like to show you what I've been doing. He's going to be pretty much fully articulated um, with, uh, with where the arms slide in and out, and uh, three or four points of movement. And I've got a video of uh, him, this arm moving around. Uh, I just got it mounted in the system right here. Uh, and uh, it was kind of hard to do. There's not a whole lot of room in there. Um, let me turn on the lights so I can so I can see. I've got a, some inside lights wired up to my switches right there. Um, so you can kind of see they came on in the inside there. So anyway, um, just let you know that uh, it's just about ready to start getting wired up for for movement. I got to put the uh, system on to pull it in and out of the torso, but um, that's going to be uh, another tedious <laughs> undertaking. Um, I've got to kind of figure out what I want to do. I'm going to explain a little bit. For right now, though, um, the arm is is built. Let me shut off the uh, personality generator. Okay, that shuts off his movement. He won't be moving around anymore. Yeah, he doesn't like that. <laughs> um, but anyway, um, it, it slides in and out. Let me show you a little bit what it does. It'll slide in and out on a track like that. And there's the arm, fully extended. So from, from here to here, it's about 22 inches. So that's pretty fully articulated. I mean, fully, fully extended to where uh, a human arm is going to be. Um, and it'll move back and forth, up and down. It'll actually go down too. Um, and then from this joint, it goes up and down. But I got no power to it, and I've got this locked off right now, so it'll so it'll stay out. Um, other than that, um, it, it, it like I said, it'll go up and down at the elbow. It'll come straight up. Uh, this will bend down. It'll go back and forth. And also the um, claws open and close. But like I said, I've got that all in another video. You guys can look in, into YouTube and find that. Right now, I want to show you this the system I have. Uh, it's kind of hard to see, and I can take. I'm going to take another video later on of what goes on with the torso off. Um, but I had to get the torso under to get everything fitting just right. Let me see if I can give you a little shot. And I've got a little tray I built in there. And um, the, the rail system mounts to that tray. Right now I've got masking tape on it, so it's not very shiny. It's made out of aluminum. Um, I've got marks and stuff so I can make, uh, make measurements and mark down easily on the aluminum. But that's all going to come off. It'll look really nice. It's mounted right to the CSS back there. Uh, and um, I've got supports underneath. Let me see if I can't get a shot of the supports underneath that I built. Okay, do you need to get that close? Your yeah. breath is fogging <laughs> my sensors. Yeah, he doesn't like it when I stick my hands in there. But, um... Let me see if I can't... Oh, baby! Oh, yeah. <laughs> Quiet now. Um, 
you can see I've got I've got some um, turnbuckles built. They're hard to see that support the underneath side of that um, shelf I built. And there's the bottom of the shelf, and I've got one turnbuckle there, one turnbuckle here, and I've also it's hard to see I think, but I've got some um, spacers built here, so every time I take it in and out. Uh, it, it'll be exactly the right height because we have such tight clearance right here um, as she goes in and out that it's really really tight and Will Hoff's rubber arms believe it or not actually fit around there um, there's there's his arm right there and uh, this thick piece of uh, flange here actually fits right around this circle and if you can see there's just very very close tight fit. It fits. It really does. Very tight clearance. I don't know if you can see that or not. Anyway, um, this rail system is made by I guess. It's, um, this is the mono system on square, t square, uh, square bar corners, which uh, actually works better than the system I had before, uh, which was the uh, dual dual system. I think this is what it is here. It was uh, it's it's all in pieces with round bars, and there's just too many pieces to get lined up. I didn't like that. Pardon my bad filmmaking. But um, this is all one machine piece by the same company and it just slides in and out and it holds its, its spot and it slides nice and easy and this is a heavy arm. You can see how this thing is, is extended past there. It's, it's way out here and this, is, this end here is about three pounds. So um, and all this stuff, this whole thing weighs about ten pounds. So it, it supports it nicely. You can see it's got a little bit of a bounce uh, when this arm starts going up and down. It's going to be um, be rocking a little bit, but it's it's very very sturdy. You can, don't even see the robot moving, so um, it it works pretty good. Now, uh, how am I going to get this to suck in and out? Like I said before, I've got um, I've got a system worked out where I think it's going to work okay. Um, these uh, I've got this power window motor that is hopefully going to be strong enough and I think it will be because there's really not a whole lot of drag on this thing as she comes in and out pardon me so this will um, this will uh, it's all out. right now it's out of alignment a little bit because I pushed out on it but um, this will fit <laughs> Hard to see, but it'll fit down on there here, and it's so thin. It there's there's plenty of room for it back there, and I'll have a pulley, a double pulley system on it, mounted on the side uh, with holes cut through the through that channel, and through the um, the rail system here, where I'll have synthetic cable uh, going around pulleys. I, I got some actually some blocks that I. I bought from Harkin. They're they're really strong. They're up. They stand up to like 250 pounds of pressure each. They run on bell bearings, ball bearings, and uh, I've got uh, synthetic cable, which is is made out of a, a material likened to Kevlar. And I'm sure you guys are very familiar with that, but it's made out of. Um, Victrin core, lightweight Victrin core, which is supposed to be as strong or stronger than Kevlar, but have a better um, uh, a better turning radius, so it doesn't break or, or turn or or chip or something like that or fray. So Kevlar's got a uh, tendency of of um, splintering, where this stuff doesn't over time. So we'll see if it works. So between uh, that uh, the rail system. Where where slides nice and easy, and uh, those dollies, those uh, blocks I'm gonna mount on on the um, 
rail system down to that motor and that pulley system. I'm, I'm thinking this will pull it out just fine. Um, you can see how that moves a little bit. So she goes in and out and um, it'll, it'll sit right in there and I think it's, it lines up pretty nice all the way around. And even with the, um, the rubber arm on there, uh, it, it, I've had it on before and it actually um, sucks in perfectly. So that's, uh, that's kind of what, um, what I have here. Um, let me turn on the personality generator again. Pay attention, my dear friend. Okay, he should be active. Uh, let's see if he's working. Um, hello, robot. Good evening. Robot, do a full system check. Active. Green and go. He's uh, actually he's actually doing something. Well, I hope so. It doesn't sound like it. Anyway, he was actually doing something there. He was homing up the um, the encoders I have in the waste. And later on, uh, I, I've got all the, um, when I have the head put on and the bubble and everything, he'll also be homing up the, the radar system and everything. But um, anyway, that's about it for now. I just want to show off a little bit what I've been doing and give you some ideas. Um, I'll do another uh, video of the system with the torso off. very famous at one time. Yes. Everyone knew me and adored me, the robot from Lost in Space. Now I am retired, and I, well, I, I just stand here most of the time and look really cool. Be quiet, Ninny. Could he? Okay, well, that should have shut him up. Um, I got some bugs to work out, but he's coming along good. Just want to show you guys, I'll do another um, video with the torso off when I have uh, the, uh, the pulley system in place and we'll see how it works then. Uh, stay tuned. You guys have a great day. Bye-bye.